Hi guys, if you click on this video, I assume you're interested in this TV series. It has a refreshing icy blue style. We'll use this color palette to color grade a photo. Before we begin, let's discuss how to select a potential photo for this edit. We're looking for window light, a portrait, and any elements that are blue in color. Personally, I prefer natural glow as well, nice and soft. I went through my photo library and found this one taken in Kyoto, Japan. It's a popular tourist spot and I'm sure many of you have visited. As you can see, it's fairly dark inside and I use a high ISO. With the denoise AI function in Lightroom, I'm able to reduce some of the noise. The first step is to brighten up the image. The kids were sharing a moment. The boy was backlit, meaning the light was coming from his back, and his face was in the shadows. We'll have to adjust that in a moment. In the tone curve, we increase the exposure. Pull up this end that represents the black to achieve the matte tone. In the red and green channels, we'll slightly increase the contrast by pulling up highlights and bringing down the shadows. In the blue channel, we'll add blue to the highlights and shadows. Next, we'll enhance the glow of the light source. I always like the glow in analog photography. That's cinematic. Go to the effects panel and slightly decrease the haze and clarity. This is how you add the glow. Onto the color grading, there are three pies in the color grading tool. Midtones, highlights and shadows. We'll adjust them one by one. For the shadows, we'll go for green. The dot outside the pie is the color hue. So we slide it to green, nothing happened right? Until we crank up the saturation. If you find it hard to control, hold shift on the keyboard so it won't slip. For the highlights, we'll pick a warm color. The real impact is in the midtones. By adding the blue, the whole scene changes. Now we got the icy blue, but the job is not done. There are a few things we need to address. First of all, the skin tone. I want to make it look more natural. Second is the box. It was supposed to be brown. And third, the yellow and green from the outside don't really fit our color scheme. Go to the color mixer. You can pick up the target and tap on the subject and slide left and right to shift the hue. You can switch to saturation and luminance. Slide your cursor right to increase, or slide your cursor left to decrease the amount. The problem is the skin tone. The brown box and the scenery outside, they all share a similar color, that is orange. It's really hard to fine tune them with the color mix alone. So we need to use masks to isolate and edit them separately. Let's create a linear gradient mask for this area and decrease its saturation. Then we can create another mask for the little boy by choosing people, not the subject, and let the AI do its work. It shows all the faces in the image. Here's a boy. We can create a mask for his features. Check off this entire person box and voila, it shows you all the options eyes, lips, hair, clothes. I'll select the facial skin. Once you hit create, the menu goes back to the people detected so you can create multiple masks for other people. So let's label the mask. And I wanted to show you the presets pull down menu. There are a bunch of options. You can enhance the eyes, smooth the skin, lighten, darken, and we'll choose warmer. Let's see what it does. Oh wow, that's creepy. It adjusts the color temperature. Well, well, well. I wish it's that easy. Double click to reset the slider. We'll adjust the exposure first. As I always say, 
the brightness affects the colors. Then go to the tone curves. All we need is a very minor adjustment. Add some red to the shadows, yellow to the midtones, and some magenta in the shadows. And maybe brighten it up a little. Are we making progress here? Yes. The purpose here is to remove blue and green from his face. So naturally, in the blue and green channel, we go for magenta and yellow, but not too much. I feel like we can brighten the shadows a little bit more. Now he looks perfectly healthy. Before the mask, after the mask. See the difference? This is how we transform a photo using this color palette. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, take a second to hit the thumbs up so we can reach more people. Thanks so much for your time. See you in the next one.